Hey, it's Tim Ria here with Digital Health Live in beautiful San Diego. Uh, fascinating panel, actually keynote mm -hmm. on I'll take brain health for six billion. And we have Albero mm -hmm. uh, Fernandez, who's the CEO of Sharp Brains. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, it's a pleasure to be with you. And as I come from Washington, D.C., where it wasn't that nice as here. Mm -hmm. So, brain is the brain's a big place to w work with, and we often not see um, folks like you here on our panels. Mm -hmm. What brings you out here? Uh, well, an invitation by the producer, yeah. uh, Jill, because I work with her many years, and this year she realized from SES, from the Consumer Electronics Show, there's for the first time so much interest in the brain. It's not just the heart that matters in health and medicine, but also the brain. So she thought it was high time to start to connect those two different communities, health and neuroscience. Co so at, at CES, we had some fascinating companies. Neurosky was there and Interaxon who yeah. make sensors. Mm -hmm. um, so what was the kind of the highlight points? First of all, what's about your, how'd you get to where you're at? What's your background? Yeah, so by training, I'm an economist. And I was working in McKinsey in consulting for many years. I'm an entrepreneur. And six years ago, I realized there was so much new knowledge in how the brain works and how to enhance it that I thought someone had to do uh, the job of tracking what is new, what is new science, what is new technology, what people either professionals or consumers can do to maximize their own brain health. So we, pro we created Sarbrains as that independent resource that provides market reports, books, consulting at that interface. So we actually have uh, some of your books here. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's just go into this. What, what, what do we have here? So let's start with the other way, you don't mind. Because I, I, so today I was presenting more the data metrics from this one. So this is the market report that basically measures how revenues in the whole industry are growing. And last year, for the first time, it crossed one billion dollars. So companies like the ones you mentioned, sensors, but also online software, tablet-based applications, the field is completely exploding. And we predict that it's going to surpass six billion dollars by 2020. Wow. So this is becoming a real industry. Uh, and this is what we discussed today there, how innovators, how digital health innovators can develop new products, can partner with some of these existing programs, can invest. So this is the main thing we do. And we have been doing this for five, six years. But then a few years ago, we realized that more and more consumers were interested in, hey, based on all this, what do I do to improve my own brain? And then we just published last month this book. It's titled The Sarbrain's Guide to Brain Fitness, How to Optimize Brain Performance and Brain Health at Any Age. And it's a synthesis of what is new and very exciting science uh, but not from a scientific perspective, no, I would, we don't want to bring people to boredom, but from a very engaging, what do I do? What can I do right now? How can I even talk to my parents or to my children? How can I incorporate in my life all these new findings and all these new technologies? How to use them? Uh, and the challenge in a new field is that often the media does not do a very good job in explaining the options. It's always, what is the most fun, cool, new thing? And then the scientists criticize that. They say, nothing works. Yeah. So we have to separate the wheat from the chaff, and that's what we try to do in the book. What works, what doesn't work, what works for whom, for what purpose, uh, because we need that to understand that the brain is the most important resource we have mm -hmm. in life. And now we know that it's much more flexible at any age. It's, every day is changing based on our behaviors, our thoughts, our feelings. Oh. So if that is true, how do we harness that property for it to change in the better way, not in the worst way? Interesting. So you can actually tune your brain. Tell me some fascinating facts that are coming out recently. One, for example, that most people don't know is that right now, for example, Tim, you have in your brain between one to 5,000 more new neurons that you didn't have yesterday. Really? Yeah. So, so actually burning new neural networks? No, no, you are creating. You are creating new neurons. And second, depends on what you do today, those new neurons either are going to survive and be useful or they will die because you don't use them, you lose them. So that's what happens with people who are aging and if you retire, you need to keep using your yeah. brain exercise. Yeah. It's like a muscle. Exactly. So that's, that's why, I mean, exercise is critical. Both physical exercise is very important for the brain, but also mental exercise is critical for the brain. The challenge is that the brain is not only one muscle, back yeah, to that metaphor, yeah, yeah. is different muscles. So what happens is that people tend to over specialize in something. Some people only do crossroad puzzles. Well, then it's like going to the gym and only exercising your right arm wow. biceps. You will have the biggest biceps in the universe, but that doesn't mean you are fit or that doesn't serve you. So you have to understand how the brain works, what are the different capacities, and how to train, how to exercise all of them. So we're truly fit. 
So tell me about some of the tools that, and applications and, and digital health things yeah. that are coming yeah. out. So we were talking a lot about two main areas. One is assessment, the other one is enhancement, intervention. So on the assessment side, we talked about, for example, there's an iPad-based application called Brain Baseline, which is free right now. Everyone can use it. There's already one, over close to one million people who have downloaded that and it has 18 different cognitive tests that you can take over time so you can self-monitor what is getting stronger and weaker over time and this is for the first time because until now a consumer you have no idea how do you objectively know how your brain is evolving uh, from the intervention side i was describing how for example there's a couple of companies already working with the fda to have some computerized programs be approved treatments one for adhd Okay. another one for schizophrenia. So wow. it's start, stop thinking about brain health as nothing or just medicaments. Medicaments can be very powerful, but using non-invasive tools, uh -huh. which have no side effects, this for the first time is going to become part of medicine. Very interesting, very interesting. What else really excites you? So many things. But what I think excites me, and the reason why we created the company Sarbrains, is because in this field we see so much of a revolution taking place that I love to learn. So what excites me is always learning, it's always challenging my own brain. So by forcing me and the team to always learn what is new worldwide in science, in technology, in the marketplace, and thinking how to engage professionals and consumers into that new opportunity is a never ending source of mental stimulation and joy. So there's a ton of really interesting people here. We just saw Sunny Vu and uh, who, what types of folks are you trying to meet here? Um, well, the funny thing is that frankly everyone, because everyone here most often deal with the health, but health in their model ends in the neck, right? So it's neck down, that's health, that's the, they care about cardio, the heart, many things. So I think every single person I'm talking to is, well, how do we incorporate the brain yeah. into that model? So it works both ways. So if you enhance the brain, people will be better equipped to improve their own behavior, their own physical health, the better physical health, that also translates into better brain health. So what is exciting is to combine those yeah. two different worlds. And frankly, every person I've been meeting so far has led into a fascinating conversation. So how do people find more information uh, that you have available? The main starting point is sharpbrains.com, our website, because there's many articles, all the resources. The book is in amazon.com and every online uh, place. But sharpbrains.com is perhaps the best place to learn more about what we do. And what's next for you? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. So right now we are having that book translated into Spanish. Oh, wow. Because I'm originally from Spain, so we want to engage people not only in Spain and Latin America, but also the growing Latino community yeah. here in the U.S. who prefers to read Spanish. So hopefully we will create a new culture, both in English and in Spanish, and more languages later. Fantastic. Well, hey, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Good work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tim.